got Wendell Mitchell on the uh, left and then Quentin Jackson on the right. Wendell, with a uh, game against Texas coming up, being from Rock, I'm sure you understand the, the whole Texas and Texas A&M dynamic and rivalry and things like that. Do you have, have you felt the need to try to educate some of your teammates who are from here? What that game means to Aggies? Yeah, I gave them bits and pieces. Um, I told them, like, uh, it's important that we win this game. It's, it's huge to me, honestly. Uh, being an hour from Austin, an hour from College Station, you know, I'm, I've always been on the Aggie side from day one, so I try to tell them, like, yo, like, it's it's real. It's real. The robbery's real. Wait, you said you've always been on the Aggie side. What do you mean by that? Why is that? Uh, my grandpa has always grown me up uh, with A&M. So, like, growing up from when I was little, all the way to middle school to high school, he's, he's always emphasized that we don't we don't go with burnt orange. So, <laughs> so what, uh, what is your grandpa's name, and also why? What was his affiliation with A&M? He just grew up an Aggie fan, or? Oh, he's been an Aggie for as long as I know him. So his name is Charles Williams. Uh, he lives in Caldwell, so like he's right down the road, and he's he's the biggest Aggie I know. So, Quentin, how about you? Did you know anything about the rivalry? Uh, not until I got here, like a probably a couple of days ago. I didn't know how big the rivalry was until uh -huh. they sat down and explained it to me. Uh -huh. So, yeah, it should be it should be a pretty interesting game. But besides him, has somebody else talked to you about it? Uh, yeah, like a couple people in, in passing. Like, y'all got a big game coming up. And I'll just be like, what's so big about it? <laughs> but yeah, they explained it to me. Yeah. What they say, why is it such a big game? Just because of the rivalry. I had somebody tell me a story about how they were playing for charity and ended up getting into like a fight or something. Like, they were like <laughs> it's a big deal. I'm like, all right. <laughs> did, did you play Texas when you were in favor? I did. Yeah, I did. Did you win? Uh, I think I'm like three and one. Okay. So, that's a good thing. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on being 1-0 oh come Sunday. <laughs> what do you think it would be like on a neutral court? Like, it's not a home-and-home. Home, it's just be kind of like a, almost like a playoff atmosphere, NCAA atmosphere maybe? Uh, it should be nice, but I feel like we're going to have a pretty good crowd. Yeah. So, from both from both uh, fan bases, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting to see how everybody turns out and how, and how the uh, atmosphere is. Y'all have been struggling. So, from your perspective, both of y'all, what it, you know, what is it going to take to start playing at a at a level that you know that y'all feel like y'all should be at? Uh, confidence, in my opinion, just everybody staying confident and not getting too high or too low, and uh, just understanding it's a next play mentality. You know, we got we're worried about the next game. You know, we can't worry about the ones we, we lost. We just got to uh, turn our brains off and turn them back on, and and uh, and just get to where we need to be at. And I honestly think we need, as a team, we need to fight more. I don't think we, we have enough fight in us yet. So when we come out, we got to be ready to really give 100% effort to the game, be ready to rip the other team's head off. Like, we just got to come out with some energy, like some control energy, though. Have you seen something like that in practice this week? Do you feel like maybe things have been a little more intense with this game coming up? Yeah, I feel like practice has been a lot higher level of intensity than usually, just because the simple fact that we know like it's time to go. Like we have no more time to waste. So I feel like yeah, practice has been higher intensity. How close do you guys feel like you are to turning that page and, and being able to play consistently at that level that you feel you can play and need to play at? I feel like we're right there. We're right there. We're just we're just flattening out some some places that we need to just keep working on and just trying to uh, just get over that hump. I don't think it's a hump really. I feel like we've we've we've, we've came a long way, put the work in, and it's more more about just being consistent and just believing in what the craft that we've put in and uh, and just uh, allowing it to take place. Beyond uh, what happened on the court, how do y'all feel like you handled your first road trip and especially with some of the younger guys or some of the guys who weren't here before and just getting prepared to, to, to play on the road and, and handling all the off the court stuff? Handled it real well. Everybody everybody understands the value of uh, of being ready and preparing and making sure your mind is ready as well as your body. You know, but Buzz makes sure that we make sure that we, we handle our business off the court and as well as like we knew how to handle the road trip. Chuck, do y'all go through like a full practice before games as well? Or is it more of a shoot around type deal? Uh it's a shoot around slash practice, you know, it's 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 work. 
you know, all, all our practices work. Anytime we get a chance to step on the court, you want to make sure we get the most out of it. So, you feel like that can take away your legs a little bit, maybe early in the season, going through that before a game? No, nah, not not for me. I'm I'm built a little different than others. So. Okay. So what about others? <laughs> I think we're all built different around here. So. What What about? being able to react and not think about, I mean, you, I know the coach has thrown a lot of different stuff at you yeah. defensively and offensively. How close are you getting to that point where you feel like you're just reacting and not having to think about everything? I feel like I'm close. I was telling somebody this the other day, but when I first got in here, it was a lot being thrown at me, new coverages, new defense, new offensive things, and it was just like a lot that I had to pick up in a short amount of time. But as time goes on, it's kind of just like smoothing itself out and I'm finding myself able to play freer because I'm understanding how to play within the system. I'm understanding where to hit guys on the team. Like, I feel like I'm just doing a, a better job at understanding it. It's allowing me to play freer. How about you, Chuck? A uh, little bit of the same. I've been, I've been playing college basketball for, for a while now, so I kind of grasped the concepts really fast. And uh, I think it's just more of just everybody communicating and understanding, like, uh, we're trying to get these coverages and these defenses and offenses to be second nature to us. So, does this week feel different knowing that it's Texas, or does it feel like it's just another game? And oh, by the way, it happens to be Texas. Uh, no, nah, my my blood my blood is boiling. I'm 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 ready for this. Coach, tell you about the last time you played Texas in a &M? No. Yeah. I know it hasn't been the. Uh, Ideal start for you guys, but do you see the big picture of what Buzz is trying to do on both sides of the ball? Are you able to kind of see, I guess not the angle, but, but where he's trying to get you all the season still? Yeah, he, he explains it really well. He breaks it down to the, to its simplest form, and uh, it's really easy to see it. And uh, that's why I keep saying we're just trying to grasp it and continue to build on it. Chuck, how good was it to have uh, uh, Andre back in the, in the rotation and be able to give some, you know, some, some time on the bench to take a breath, but also to help kind of run that offense? Uh, it was great to have him back. Uh, he's a great player, and I feel like uh, he's grown a lot since the first game. And uh, just to have him back, it gives us a slight breather, like you said, and, and uh, another scoring threat, another playmaker. Quinn, what's the biggest issue in terms of scoring? You guys have had a difficult time scoring the ball so yeah. far. What do you need to do to, to improve that? Uh, in my opinion, I just think we need to hit shots more. We hit. We have a lot of wide open shots, and we just don't hit them. I think that's the only reason that we're kind of in a slump right now. I would say we just got to hit shots, the open ones. How much of that is confidence? I mean, do you feel like you have guys on the on the floor right now that can hit those shots? Yeah, I feel like we do. Uh, it has a lot to do with confidence. Um, I feel like when you have to think a lot during the game, it kind of probably takes away from the confidence a little bit. But I feel like. All of us as a team are slowly starting to realize like what's going on and how we can get our shots. So in practice, we're actually looking pretty good right now. A couple more. Those are on the way down. Chuck, I, I think the coach is, makes a big deal of you getting to the line and keeping the other team from getting to the line. Uh, does that mean driving the ball more to, to get get to the line? Uh, yeah, we, we, we tend to try to beat the team and free throw attempts and free throw makes. So uh, getting to the lane is important, also because right. it creates rotations for everybody else, not only just uh, creating fouls, but it gives everybody a chance to uh, play in rotation, to get more open shots. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.